Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge. So today we're doing something a little bit unplanned. Um, Anna Lee is just talking to Malcolm and she is telling them that she thinks it's best they postpone the wedding because she has realized how important it is for her to talk to Amber. Um, Amber was an important person in her life and she has sort of realized all the horrible things that she's done to her and she wants to ask for forgiveness. So we are going to be doing that today when it's a more reasonable hour. But she, he's just like, it's okay, I understand she was your best friend. She was your best friend and I want to make sure that you're completely ready when we get married. So they are actually going to enjoy some woohoo because she wants to do that. So we're going to do that real quick. And let's see what the kids are doing. Whoa. Must be watching TV. Oh wait, no. She's probably in her bedroom. Just standing there awkwardly. Yeah. What does she want to do? She wants to go talk to her sister. Let's see. Talk to the monster under the bed. The monster under the bed showed up, I think, like, last night and terrified the crap out of all of them. And I was just like, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I didn't have anything I could do about it. Dude, I totally forgot we had a butler. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Um. She wants to tell a story to Christopher. I don't know why they're still asleep, because I'm pretty darn sure they have full energy. Yeah, they do. So she's just going to come in here. And wake him up. And she's going to talk to him a little bit. I forgot what like their skills are at. That's a good thing to check out. To see if we need to age them up soon or not. Oh good, they're waking up themselves. Okay, so communication's good. Movement's not there and potty's not there. So that's what we need to work on for them. Um, communication's good. Walking's totally not good and potty's almost there. So they're pretty close. I'd say in another couple of days we can have them aged up. I feel like they just like switched places. That was weird. Okay. So we are going to come over here and just tell him a little story. We could tell a group story, but we'll just tell a story. And now what she want to do with Malcolm? Make out with him. She really does love him, guys. Like, honestly. <laughs> I feel like yeah, no, she lives her life. She doesn't care. <laughs> Aw, he's so cute when he sits down. I love his hair so much. Okay, she wants to try for a baby. Since we aren't getting married until probably next weekend, we can probably squeeze out another kid. So that's something we will have to be doing. Wink, wink. So we have a butler, but, you know, maybe... Maybe Monday we can invite over the nanny or something fun like that. If you catch my gri drift. Uh, Malcolm went back to see That's cute. Okay. We are going to call Amber and ask if it's okay if we come over and meet up with her. Let's see. Here she is. <coughs> We're going to chat with her and then send her an happy text to see if she'll ask us out anywhere. Otherwise, we'll just head over there. Thanks. Congratulations in addition to the family. Yeah, they're your kid. Who is this person? How do I know an alien? And uh, I flirted with him, apparently. Huh. Okay. So, who's the next baby daddy gonna be? I'm thinking. I think it should be one of the people with the lower relationships, actually. So that, like, they don't disappear. Aw, she does want to go out. We're going to go out to the park with her. So we are going to go do that. But maybe we could have a baby with an alien. Because it would be pretty cool 
if we had an alien baby because I have never actually played with an alien. I almost did once, but then I like stopped playing the game because I got bored. I tend to play a, a current household for about two days and then it, yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Alright, I will pick up when we get there. Alrighty everyone, we are here at Desert Bloom Park with Amber. I'm sort of thinking about having Malcolm come drop off the kids so that they can have a fun day out. At least um, the two girls. So I think I'm actually going to do that. So we're going to bring them here. But she's just going to go up to Amber and just kind of like chat with her a little bit, you know. She can't really go for a hug or anything because I feel like the relationship is too low and Amber's probably still a little bit mad at her. So we're just going to be super nice and like flatter her and all of that stuff. Okay. She looks super pretty though. That tattoo is weird though. I don't remember giving her that tattoo. <laughs> I actually think that tattoo's new. I wonder who it's for. Ah, look, they came right over to the playset. That's adorable. Is she playing too? She's Is she over there dancing? Aw, that's cute. She's listening to some blues. Um, I'm going to have her also come and play. And I would like her, actually, to introduce herself to this cute little boy. Just so that they have some friends, because that'd be cool. And then she can do whatever she wants. Um, do they need any skills for school? That's a good thing to... No, I don't think so. He's super cute. I wonder whose kid he is. But we're not focusing on them. I just want to make sure that... <clears throat> they introduce each other. Amber's dyslexic. I don't remember doing that. I feel like I did not do that. I'm just going to queue up some interactions for those two. Or not. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Oh my gosh. They're like quickly regaining their relationship, honestly. Oh, social level 3. Good job, Blossom. She's super awesome. Let's ask her about her career. I don't know if she actually has one. Maybe she's an artist now. And then let's share some photos of our family. Oh my god, let's go to the flea market together. <gasps> this is so cool. I love it. And then the kids can come over there and play basketball too if they want. We're going to do that in a sec. We're going to be like, hey, well, here's some cute pictures of my new children that you have not seen. I think we're going to try to see if we can get her into the artistic career. Like, if we can convince her to try. Because she was a really good artist. But we need to talk to her about what's important. So we're going to be like, hey. I'm really, really sorry about um, what I did with you and Malcolm. And Oh, Bella. Oh, that's so sweet. But I can't right now, darling. And she's like, I'm super sorry that what I did with you and Malcolm. I know that you really cared about him. And I feel horrible about it. And I, I'd understand if you never want to be my friend again. But I'm getting married to him. She's like, sweetheart, I know. It's all over her town. It'd be impossible not to know. She's like, it is? What do you mean? She's like, um... Uh, your, your lovely new-to-be mother-in-law has been talking about how you guys are going to be getting married and how you guys are going to be starting a big family and how amazing you are for taking in all those children from your sister who passed away. She's like, she said that? She's like, yeah. She, I'm going to say yes to that. She's like, yeah. Um, apparently, all the kids you have are your dead sisters in law and she's like i never knew that uh she i 
Annalise kind of at a loss for words, but there is one thing I think we can talk to Amber about. I think we're going to confess to her the ultimatum that Nancy Landgrab gave us. We're going to be like, well, I, you know, I had twins with Malcolm and, um, I met his parents because we were kind, because, you know, they were going to be grandparents and he wanted them to see, but he also was afraid to tell them. And I guess she found it anyways. And she asked me out for coffee and she said that if I didn't marry her son, she'd basically ruin my life. Because she doesn't want it to get out that we had children out of wedlock. And she said she'd cover up all the past to make it so that people won't gossip about me and anything like that. And I didn't know what to do. And I really did care about Malcolm. And I didn't want to lose him. I wanted to be able to see him. So I said yes. And I asked him to move in. And he asked to marry me quickly after. And... I mean, I'm happy, but it's hard because I feel like I was pushed into it, and I haven't had anyone I could talk to about it, and it made me realize how important you are and you were to me, and how I didn't, how I treated you, and I just, I feel so sorry, and I love you, Amber, and I, I, I need someone like you to be in my life. I can't deal with everything by myself because I'm in this new world with all these women that care about image and they gossip about each other but they're like best friends with each other and I really don't know what to do and Amber's like darling I love you you're my best friend forever and I will always be there when you need me okay I'm s I, all that stuff in the past is over I've moved on you've moved on and I think that we can get over it together. And Amber is like, I'm sorry that your hand was pushed, but I have seen you with Malcolm, actually, and you seem really happy, and you're really happy right now. And I know this new life is going to be really difficult, but I think that everything will be okay. No, they're super, I love them together so much. Like... Amber is the sweetest person I've ever met. I can't believe she's just like fine with everything and like let's move on together and it's all okay. So actually what we are going to do right now is we are going to head over to the flea market together. Um, we'll bring the our daughters too. And maybe... I don't think yet, but at some point I would like to introduce um, Amber to Bella, because Bella I feel like is the only actual kind of friend we've made, because she's not as superficial as that, I mean she's still superficial but not as bad, so I'm thinking maybe at some point in the future we could do that. I kind of also want to invite our daughters if they're not working and um, can I invite Andrew because we haven't seen Andrew in forever it feels like what is this new messages on my wall huh I don't know what that means we will ha I'll have to check that out later I've never seen that before um, she's afraid of vampires see I I just knew it I can't like close it okay good my, like, recording little the thing that shows me the time is right above that panel and I can't see anything. <laughs> so we are going to head over and uh, Amber's going to tell Andrew to come. Because, you know, Andrew's been staying with Amber. And um, we are going to catch up with everyone. And I can't wait for Amber because she has some exciting news that I know she's going to want to share with us. So I can't wait to tell you guys what that is. Haha. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I really did miss Amber. I think she is an amazing friend. But I will cut back when we arrive at the flea market. Alrighty, everyone. We are back and we are out for a little bit of fun in the city. Everyone was able to come meet up with us, which I think is super awesome. So I'm just going to kind of draw everyone into a little conversation here. Amber's feeling, or not Amber, Italy is feeling a little sad because she hasn't seen her son in such a long time and she kind of feels like she abandoned him and she feels super guilty about that. So she's just going to give him a little hug and try to get back in touch with him. She's also trying to drag everyone into a conversation so that like the whole family can kind of catch up a little bit. Um, so she found out that Andrew is uh, working his way up in the culinary career, which is super exciting, honestly. And I'm really happy. Look how, like, just look at the relationship with Amber already. They, they're just so good at being friends. They, oh, I love it, guys. I totally love it. Tell me what you guys think about it. I feel like... Amber definitely will always be here for Italy, <laughs> no matter what. She showed us that, so that's really nice, honestly. Um, so Amber is kind of telling everyone that she is in a relationship with this beautiful girl who you may or may not have seen in the little cast video I put up earlier. Um, probably yesterday or maybe even today. They've been in a relationship for about moved in and they're kind of getting settled down and Amber can never be happier. She kind of realized that she doesn't really swing for guys. Uh, she kind of felt like she did at first, but then she met this girl and just fell completely head over heels. So, you know, she's happy now and I think that's super awesome. Um, I'm gonna check out what the girls are doing. Oh my god, no! <gasps> oh my god. Bella, I'm sorry, but you cannot sing. How's Blossom doing? I can't believe they're in here singing karaoke. That's adorable. She wants to go up and take a picture with her sister, but I'm actually gonna have her come and sing. Maybe that will be their thing together. Just to sing with each other. <coughs> Wouldn't that be adorable? Let's see if Blossom has a little more talent than Bella. Because, <laughs> uh, Bella needs some help. Nope. Twins are alike, it would seem. <laughs> it looks like everyone's kind of going out to enjoy the festival, so we are going to go join them. Um, I don't think there's anything we want to buy from over here. <laughs> oh, here's Nancy. We should probably go up and say hi. Um... Let's go up and get to know her. We're not going to sing karaoke. We can, we'll can. we go watch them later. Okay, you know what? She's going to be here for her daughters. And she's going to watch their horrible performance. Or maybe not. Nope. She walked in, walked out like, I can't deal with this. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> okay, she super duper has to go to the bathroom, it would appear. So I'm going to just have her go do that. Aw, Cassandra's sweet. And we're gonna grab something delicious to eat. Let's get pork abado. And then we can say hello to Miss Nancy. So we can do a little bit of gossiping. And I kinda wanna try the bubble blower with Amber, but I'm not I don't know if she might have left or not. Cause I kinda understand if she did. It's kinda late. We're, we're just going to check it out. It looks like she did. I think she's out to go do some job hunting or something like that. Oh, no, actually, she is in here singing away. How did I never know there's a carry booth both over here? I always use those. Did you guys hear the way I said booth? I was like, both. <laughs> All right, so we'll try to try the bubble blower with her later, I think after we get some food and go to the bathroom because we might end up peeing our pants which I won't let happen um, <laughs> this is a gorgeous little fountain guys we're gonna definitely toss a coin in it because this is so pretty 
How have I never really noticed this fountain? Look at the like details and stuff. I love it. Okay. So we're gonna sit down by Nancy and just be like, hi. She's like, oh, hey. So I hear the wedding's planned for next Saturday or, or next weekend or something like that. And she's like, yeah, it is. <gasps> Akira, no, I can't be seen with him. He has a re romantic relationship with us and he was the baby daddy of our last child. We are in trouble. <laughs> It looks like she's going to be leaving, so that is alright. Um, we are going to throw a little coin in the fountain. I don't know what we were excited about. It looks like we're getting better. Um, we no longer almost f are afraid of abandoning Andrew because he's said he's been really busy and he's sorry that he hasn't gotten to talk to us. So, like, it's okay. I guess she's talking with Akira, which still worries me. Um, when I click on the bathroom, it's not letting her go. Ugh. I don't know. I don't want her to peer pants, but she's, like, literally about to. I really don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna, like, teleport her here. If I can. I don't think I can. She's gonna pee her pants, you guys. Should I just, like, send her home? I don't know why she'd be pregnant. Oh, yeah, I have risky woohoo in. She's fine. She's not pregnant, guys. Please eat. Okay, you know what? No, you're not going to get to finish that. Hopefully, you can put it in your inventory or something. Please go potty. It's too late. And it's gone. Gosh darn it. Go! Go! I swear to God, woman. Looks like she's going to pee her pants. Oh, my God. Why is there no, like, outdoor bathroom? Use it. Run. Run. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what everyone else is doing. Because I don't want to be around when she pees her pants. So she's going up for round two of singing. She's going to the bathroom. Amber's coming to support Bella with her future career. Possibly. Oh, she's super sweet. I think she's definitely missed being around our kids too. Is she going to make it? <gasps> she made it! Woo! <laughs> okay. I want her and Amber to try this out together. So we're going to come over here and sit together. And hopefully that will bring Amber over here and I'll just make sure it doesn't bring the kids over there. You don't have to go. And you don't have to go. Um, it's getting a little late, but I'll let them c come around for one more song before I send them off home. Oh, look at it. Our daughter's here. Okay. Um, they're gonna be pissed when we try this. But it's a family experience, guys. That's what I was going for. Whoa. Twitter, calm down. <laughs> She's like, Mom, what are you doing? That is so wrong. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. Oh, look who came to join us. This is Montemar Goth. We better talk to him a little bit. We definitely need a higher relationship with him since we're like, pretty good friends with his wife i know that like we have a really high relationship with bella but we haven't hung out with her a lot so we really need to like hang out with her and go out and do fun things together because i feel like they'll definitely be really good friends and hopefully her and amber will get along oh she says she has a coin for good luck and they say money can't buy happiness that's cute i think we're almost on level 10 of the charisma skill already guys like whoa Okay, I'm gonna send our daughters home because it's almost 8 o'clock and, you know, they have school school in the morning. Um, that boy we met maybe could become their friends because I don't know if they know anyone else their age. So when they go to school, we'll definitely have to have them meet some people their age. Um, I guess, Am oh, the festival's closing. Oh, darn. Um... <laughs> We're gonna just kind of talk to him a little bit 
and then we ourselves will probably head home to our loving husband. Okay. I'm actually just going to end this part here. Um, all we're going to be doing is going home and chilling. So I hope you guys liked this part. I hope you guys liked getting to see Amber again. I know I definitely did. And um, leave a little like uh, if you liked it. I hope you did because I had a lot of fun getting to see her. I missed her so much, guys. Like, honestly. Um, I will be seeing you in my next episode. Bye-bye!